what I like to see is a green light on a machine. A green light means it's running and it means that we're earning money. So we all do our research when we're going to be buying something new. But I'm here with Mark from Muffet Engineering Solutions who actually took it that one step further with the help from Mike from DF Precision Machinery. So, Mark, we're stood in front of your latest investment, but you didn't just ring up, ask a few questions and buy this machine. So, how was the process before you actually got this machine on the shop floor? So, Mike was given a brief of what we expected, what, what we were looking for. Automation was the uh, primary thing. Mike took us to several end users of Kellenberger and the automated solution and also we had trial parts manufactured before uh, taking receipt of the machine. Now I actually have one of them trial parts in my pocket as well as the part that is actually on this machine now yes. was one of the trial parts. Yes. This gives a good indication of small parts to larger parts and that, that's the whole scope of what, what we were trying to do. Well, in principle, it's all very much the same. You have the same tools and you're doing the same process. The programming was a little bit more complicated than the other grinding machines, but with the training we had from Kellenberger, it was all quite straightforward. Now, talking about the training, what was it like? It was great. We went over to Switzerland, went to St. Garland, which is where their headquarters is. We had excellent training from the staff there on all the programming and all the coding and stuff. And then after that, we had training on the physical machine when it was delivered. So how long was your training and what did you learn on sort of each day? Well, we had about a week of the actual programming the machine while we were there, which is all very thorough. We learned a lot more than we're likely to use here because it can do quite a lot of things on this machine. And then afterwards, we had about a week and a half of learning the machine and then a little bit more time for the loader but that was also incorporated into setting up the machine so it was a bit more than just learning how to use it. We learned a lot of the, some of the servicing facts as well. Now, what were some of the problems you were facing, especially trying to grind this before you got the new machine in? Something of this size, uh, you're grinding three, three diameters. You've got two journals on the end. Uh, with our current process, we were having to drive the part with a carrier, uh, which then in turn meant it was two operations. With this machine here, we've got synchronous drive. We can uh, grind the part in one complete operation and we've also got the automation factor of it as well. I think some of the points we need to bring across from that, because that was, that was great, is obviously if you're grinding this, that's two operations straight yes. away because you grind one side, you've then, if you've ground this side first, you've then got to be able to hold that to grind this. That's correct, yes. And then one of the problems I can see straight away with that is, is you've then got to manually clock that back up absolutely perfect yep. to get that entire job concentric. So how has this machine helped with that? You've got one, one uh, loading, you've got one datum, um, you haven't got any issues with concentricity or run out. And I think, like you said before, we need to, we need to dive in a little bit on the, um, on the driven tail stop because it's not just a driven tail stock, it's fully synchronized yes. with the main spindle yes. as well. So you just hold that between two centers, which means you can grind that entire part in one go. So it's driven purely by friction through the centers um, and you've got full alignment through the, the datum, yes. Now, I always think of grinding as the last operation and it's, to me, the scary part because this is where your part can either go out right That's correct. or it's wrong. Yes. So how is this machine helping you have the confidence that every part you grind will be correct? Uh, with the in-process gauging, it's obviously making any uh, alterations to any offsets if there are size changes uh, throughout production. Uh, however, we, we are only seeing about a micron of movement within a day's production. And let's talk about the loader because is this your first grinder with automation? This is our first uh, grinder with automation. Uh, prior to that, each part is manually loaded. Is this now leading you into lights out running? Uh, we have started to trial uh, unmanned running and the most success we've had so far is we've managed to run the machine 14 hours with uh, no labor. So overall, what has this machine from DF Precision Machinery done for you? 
Uh, it's improved our throughput, it's improved our capacity, uh, and it's improved our ability to run a machine unmanned. And just one final question, would you use them again? Yes.